Loving Allah, as the Prophet ﷺ had said, none of you has truly believed until I become more beloved to him or her than his child or her child, father, parent, or the whole world. Our love for Allah and his messenger should supersede our love for anyone in this world. And that is the proof of our faith. Otherwise, we call ourselves Muslims, we have Muslim names, we do things that Muslims do, but as the Prophet ﷺ had said, there are people who will do, Sahih Muslim, the deeds of the people of paradise, but they will be from the people of hell. They will do the deeds of the people of paradise. As it appears to people, they fast, they pray, they make hajj, they do these things. These are the deeds of the people of paradise. But, the Prophet ﷺ had said, they will be from the people of hell. And the dividing line between this side and that side is over the issue of love. Let us not have any doubts about it. It's over the issue of love. It's over the issue of trusting. It's over the issue of fear. It's over a number of issues. But tonight, we are focusing on the issue of love. Since it is so important, it is so popular to talk about, It is infused in our lives through the media. We can't seem to get away from it. We need to go back to this. Otherwise, we are fooling ourselves. We are fooling ourselves. We think we are Muslims. We call ourselves Muslims, but in reality, we are living a lie. I ask Allah to protect us from this state and to bring us back to the state of Islam in which we love Allah more than everything else. And that verse that we began with, And there is among human beings, those who take for worship others besides Allah, as equals to him, Allah then says, وَالَّذِينَ amanu." أَشَدُّ حُبًّا لِلَّهِ But those who believe means meaning to say that those who don't believe there are those who love what is displeasing to Allah more than the love of Allah. Those who believe then their love of Allah is greater. So that's the proof of our faith. If we want to know where we stand before Allah, then we need to address these issues and address whatever other loves we may have. For other people, that love may be tobacco, smoking, cigarettes. It may be drugs. There are many other things out there. It may be money. The love for money which drives our presence here, for example, in the International Islamic University. We're here 
to get a piece of paper so we can make money. And we choose our professions based on the one which will get us the most money. That's the love of money. We're not seeking knowledge as prescribed by the Prophet ﷺ. We are in love with money. And that is what drives us. And the Prophet ﷺ had said, Ta'isa Abdu Dinar, Abdu Dirham, Abdu Dinar, that the worshipper of the Dirham and the dinar, the ringgit, will always be wretched. Will be wretched. And whatever we love, greater than Allah, it will make our lives wretched. Because we will not be able to get what we want from it, it will be fleeting. It will be there for a minute and it's gone. And we're running after it all the time. It is only with the remembrance of Allah, Allah bi dhikrillahi, tatma'inna al So it is only with that love of Allah, which causes us to remember Him, throughout our lives that we ultimately will find happiness and find peace. It won't be in any of these other things. So, my brothers and sisters, I encourage you to stop for a minute and reflect. Many of us are caught up in currents. We're just going along with in a stream, we don't really have any control. We don't have time to stop and think about it. We're just in it. We need to stop and think. Because we really don't know when we will breathe our last. As young people, you might think, I got a lot of time. How many young people didn't have a lot of time? That's reality. So we need to stop and think. And to turn back to Allah and to love Him and worship Him through our love of Him by obeying the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we need to do that in order for this Ummah to succeed. It is the only way. We can chase the dunya, replicate the West, their lifestyles, etc. But where does it lead? What is at the end of it all? Wretchedness. We have something which the rest of the world does not have. Islam. We need to preserve it. We need to take care of it. We need to live it as it deserves to be lived. Those were the thoughts. I wanted to share with you this evening. I hope they serve as a reminder. And I remind myself before I remind you all. Because Shaitan, Satan, is ever busy. He is ever busy. And Allah said, take him as your enemy. And this is one of the main routes that he comes at us through. Love. Love of this world. The 
impermissible things going to excess or love of the forbidden things. Barakallahu feekum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.